back. Anton, what, what are those, drums? Nice going. Pretty impressive. Um, here, here tonight we have uh, comedian Kara Leifer and uh, uh, boxer, uh, uh, British heavyweight champion Frank Bruno, who will be fighting Mike Tyson later this month in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll find out about the drop in the pit, of course. Uh, tomorrow on the program, singer Tom Jones will be here. Tom Jones. Yeah, pretty good, Absolutely. huh? Yeah. And uh, Wendy Andert with a seaweed cooking demonstration. Great, there's yeah. a great don't talk she, about she's it. She's opening for him in Atlantic City with yeah. that. And doing good business as I understand it. That'll be tomorrow. How is the drop in the pit on that? I don't know. Ah. Uh, I was uh, before the program I was relaxing upstairs in my office with my uh, new copy of uh, Grit magazine. It's it's America's family magazine, but but I read it as well. And um, I came across uh, what I thought was a pretty interesting article and it's simple enough. It's the kind of thing that it's one of those really good ideas you say to yourself why why didn't somebody ever do an article about this before? But here it is. It's about celebrities and, and their hobbies and, and what they do. And it turns out these three that they featured, Michelle Lee and uh, Lonnie Anderson, uh, they collect things. And then Maury Amsterdam. Here, this is what really caught my eye. Uh, Maury Amsterdam has put together, I guess over his uh, professional life, a collection of cello-related statuettes. You know, he plays the cello, is a cellist, and that's uh, how he relaxes with this collection of cello-related statuettes. And when I saw that, I got to thinking, other people on our staff have hobbies as well. Why not spend a minute visiting with them about their various collections and so forth? So we're going to do that here, if you don't mind. Paul, why don't you start off? I see you already have your collection there. I do, as a matter of fact, and uh, I guess you might expect what I, uh, I collect, and it's true. I collect piano-related statuettes, uh -huh. and I brought a few of them in. People have been giving them to me as presents. I got interested. I started collecting them. You can see the cute little girl over yeah. here. And how many? How many do you have? Betty Paul? Boop over here. How many? How many? Yeah. Oh, gee, I got uh, hundreds, hundreds yeah. of these at home. This uh, is a cute one here. Do you have a red. favorite? This is one of my favorites. I brought along. It's a completely metal, all made out of yeah. bolts and knives nice. and stuff. It's Thanks, Paul, for sharing. Good hobby, sure. That's very, very nice. Uh, and also, uh, one of our uh, stage managers, Biff Henderson, brought in a part of his collection. Tell us about that, Biff. What is that? <laughs> yeah, Dave, I find it really interesting. I tell you quite frankly. Um, it's a collection of statuettes of Maury Amsterdam. It's... <laughs> okay, those are statuettes of Maury Amsterdam. Yeah. Right. Do you, and do you have a favorite one there? Yes, I think I like this one with him with the cello. Playing the cello, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you have a lot of those, Biff? Uh, not as many as Paul. Yeah. But I'm getting there. Yeah, but you, you enjoy it and it's a good way to, to spend your free time. I couldn't think of anything better yeah, to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do we have time for one more? Uh, Anton, did you bring in something? Well, it was an amazing coincidence, because I collect um, articles about Maury Amsterdam's collection of cello-related statuettes. And, and Anton, how long have you been collecting these? Well, it's about 20 years now. Uh, so. and <laughs> could you share a couple of those with us? Sure. Um, okay, this is the one you just showed. Wow! Wow, you're, you're really on the ball! Yeah, well, I try, you know. Uh -huh. Okay, and this is from, uh, 69. Here's one funny man who collects cello-related statuettes. Uh -huh. And, uh, this one's from 74. Right. Dial M-O-R-E-Y for cello-related statuettes. Right. Uh -huh. And how many, how many would you say you have total? Uh, three. Yeah, just those three. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, the, the hobby, uh... <laughs> Surprisingly, though, it really takes up, you know, most of my free time. <laughs> I see. Uh, but I, I guess because they're so rare that when you find one, you're really excited. Well, it's, it's heaven, Dave. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much. So, there you go. Just a little something I found in the magazine earlier today. We'll uh, do a commercial. We'll be right back with Carol Luther.